Hey guys, what's going on? Back again. So if you saw in the last video that I did, I did do a marine theme PC. Uh, actually going to be delivering that. Uh, if you're watching this the day it's uploaded, I've, I've already delivered it. But yeah, so in that video I did mention that I was going to do a version 2 of my desk. As you see, I got that. I'm going to be measuring a whole bunch. Got to get some more stuff. So what my plan is, is I already have it right here. It's a little over an eighth inch of sheet, pretty much like a canvas board with a nice wood, long wooden dowel that I'll be cutting off. And what I'll be doing is I'll be making, <clears throat> excuse me, little cuts about that big and using it, go ahead and show you, like this, a little standoff almost, right? So what, I'm, what my whole goal is, because the one thing I love about my desk is it is open and I do have everything looking out like that, but I can't stand all the cables sitting like this. And I want to be able to see a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is, as you see in that board, it is going to be sitting about a half inch higher than everything. And then I'm going to re redo how everything is sitting inside. So that way all the cables will just be hidden under the board and all you'll see is the actual devices like the graphics card, you know, the motherboard, you know, I'm gonna find another place for all the hard drives as well as the bobbleheads. So really it's probably gonna go like this, just a quick thing, like that all the way over, cut, round, all the way up, flush, and then back up again. Now I do have a cutout, as you guys see in the back right there. That right there is where I'm gonna end up routing a lot of my cables as well, as I have ones under the AIO. So, I'm gonna find new ways to route that in because I'm thinking of just, just really just going out and thinking of different ways I can do things. But I think this is gonna look a lot more aesthetically pleasing, not to mention the graphics card instead of it being vertical. I'm gonna have it laying down, probably pegged up on some dowels right here on the bottom. So I'll get those in there so that way it's facing up with. And then I got the full airflow going through because right now, as you can see, the two fans are right there, feeding in cold air straight to the graphics card, which does help with cooling but it kind of restricts everything else right here. And I'm, I'm limited to those two with those three exhaust fans. So stay tuned. This is going to be a All right, guys, like I said, I was doing a version two. So I've already started, got an early start this morning. So what I'm doing is I had a, like, like I showed you in the last video, a eighth inch of piece of wood that I'm going to make it as my base have these dowels, cutting them all into small. Those are gonna be like the standoffs, if you will, for where it just sets up like this and the board just sits right on top of it. Like so, just sitting just like that. And I've already cut the board. I'll have to get, I'm gonna drill these out and then they saw them straight through, just, you know, square cuts all the way around. So the motherboard and stuff will still sit like this, graphics card over there. And then that's the graphics card hole. This is for the like 24 pin and uh, all the SSDs uh, for all those cables. This is off also the EPS for the motherboard. So a lot of that. And then because I'm not pushing this all the way back, if, when you guys saw the pictures of the desk, I have my radiator, my 360 rad that's in the back with the 120 mil fans that are on there. So it's going to stick out. So the, fan, the cables will still be able to come up into the IO of the motherboard. And this cutout right here is for the power supply. Now, like I said, I am going to be painting this whole thing white. I'll probably be, once I cut them out, I'm obviously gonna be using the nice side. So painting it all white, so that way it gives a little contrast, kind of like a, an effect of where under it's all black and then up top. But yeah, I'm just working on it, getting everything going, cutting these dowels, gotta make sure I get 20 of them. So I'll also be standing off the graphics card so that way instead of the graphics card being vertical, it'll be laying down horizontal. And I have uh, making a little piece that I'm gonna use, probably gonna use a little piece of that, probably cut that in half. And that's what the graphics card will sit on with the dowels. So everything right here is everything's coming together. I'll try to keep you guys posted on everything that's going on. So yeah, stay tuned. It's coming together pretty well. Hey guys, welcome back. So as you guys saw in the last video, I was in the midst of cutting, but it's been a few days since I've done that. I had some issues when I went to go put in version two. Here's the picture. As you can see in the picture, it is absolutely destroyed. So I ended up having to go get a 
piece of that right there was a piece of glass that i built the desk around as you guys know if you guys have seen the video of this desk which i'll put a link up to the to it right up here and what i end up doing is i'll go ahead and show you right now i'm still working on version two but i went and got a piece of plexi had them cut it out did that at lowe's put a nice little band around it had them cut it to the size and it fits right on top i'll show you guys i'll show you guys the finished product once everything's done <clears throat> but right now i am i just painted painted the desk white took off that wrap so now the desk is white now so having to paint mdf so again if you guys are looking to learn how to paint mdf make sure you get the ones with primer and paint all in one works a lot better but for the version two as you guys can see i did finish that this piece of plastic so all, as you can see all the wires are hidden under it all the wires go from the the psu all the way under and then come up to the according holes that i poked in I actually was able to, I actually built a little block down there and it goes flush up against, my measurements were pretty spot on. So flush up against the front part of this as well as all up against the fans. And as you see in the back, flush right up there. It's not flush all the way there. So that way I can get to my IOs and plug those in. There's still those, that hole that's right under there coming out the back as well as the one right there for the GPU. And it's great because this fan right here blows directly into the GPU, so it's pulling air. It being up, it's still not at the glass, so it is getting you know ample amount of airflow. But I was able to get a whole bunch of different things. I'll go ahead and show you with it turned on, show you what's going on. So I'm gonna move this. Just a quick starter on what you can see. I'll tell you what, in that picture, whew, I had to clean glass out of everything. I thought I lost all of it, but it looks pretty cool. Everything comes on. It's really nice because it's good in cable managed. I was just, I hated the fact the way it looked before that you had all those cables just everywhere and you can see everything. Now, everything has its place and the cables go to it accordingly. So it looks a lot better, almost like how a PC case would look. So having the SSDs right there, you know, my bobbleheads right there. I did have a Darth Vader bobblehead as well. That was destroyed when the glass was destroyed. I'll do a whole bunch of stuff on that so you guys can, if you guys have any questions, I'll let you know what happened with that. But what I was able to do, put Plexi in here because my kids like to go in there and touch. So instead, they can't do that. And it just keeps everything together. So, I mean, I like the way it looks, but I'll let you guys see at the end. Right now, I'm actually doing, like I said, I am painting, getting that all up done, and also painting a brace red to accent that I'm going to put right here. So I have some red white and black as you see the trim is red the base is black so you got all the stuff over there in the corner that was off the desk so i'm putting all that together as you can see i took down everything off the wall because i'm finished painting everything in here so that way everything looks uniform and i'll be doing a whole bunch more coming together to get that wall all put together so stay tuned guys i'll get you, get you guys the finished product and you can see what's going on all right guys, so the build is all finished. Took a little while to tidy up, but it is all done now. So let's go ahead and take a look. Dust is all nice and white. Got the board on there. Added some nice black strips on there just to give it some detail on there. But as you guys can see, so I'm using wireless peripherals, but I have, you know, that one wire going off the side and was able to run the wire for the AM Pro 2 with, I got custom keys on there right now, uh, under the entire back piece down here, all the way up, all the way to the side and right there, which you really can't notice when you're actually playing. So that's really good. And it's over here by the power button, which you guys have seen on the desk. So one thing with the desk, having those, uh, the plexiglass and the two holes right there it is beneficial and as well as as you can't see down there there is vents down there but that's really just for the, the static air down there just to be able to push out but having that in there it's really cool as you can see you can see the stormtrooper in there can't really see him that much when you're gaming obviously because i i mean i do have the mouse pad all the way back here but it is nice having this minimal you know i can't plug it up when i need to having it charge and obviously the Corsair Harpoon, I can actually charge that, the cable's back there. As you see, the whole thing is done. I was able to paint the wall. So now it's nice and clear. If you guys saw the picture of the video that I did when I did that monitor arm, that wall was an, the wall was an actual mess. So I was able to get that done. I have some plans to put some pictures and some stuff up right there. So it's gonna look pretty neat. But got a new, with the version two of this, 
how you guys see it. If you guys got any questions about this, you know, definitely, you know, leave me a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer anything. Uh, if you guys are wondering what the specs that I'm using from the video that I did initially when I built this, built this desk, it's totally different uh, other than the CPU, the motherboard, the graphics card, the RAM, and the uh, power supply are all uh, different. The cooler and the CPU are the only thing that stayed. Oh, sorry. And the hard drives. But other than that, that's it. Everything else was, was added in at later time. But yeah, even the, obviously the peripherals are different. And there's some plans coming up to get different peripherals right here. Trying to go back to Logitech's power play. Maybe even getting that 502. We'll see what the deals come up. But anyways, got an RGB uh, headphone stand. I end up trading out my Steel Series 7 art, uh, artist. Those are actually my son's using those. Video coming soon. I have, we surprised my son with a new video, uh, new room big boy room so and now i'm using the hyperx cloud flights i don't know if you guys can see that let's see yeah there you go and i actually they both sound great but anyways that's totally different i'll do another video on that you guys probably have seen tons of videos on that but hope you guys like the desk you know i've really worked pretty hard on getting this thing where i want it to get going you know having the white up top the red and then the black having all that and then obviously having the tray above and like I did in the video earlier where you guys saw the dowels, I actually didn't use dowels. Those dowels were just a little bit too flimsy, so they moved back and forth. I ended up cutting little pieces of uh, two by four, about mm, that big, and then shaved them off a little bit, sanded them down a little bit, and then placed them in points on this shelf, if you will, to give it a little bit more stability because it was wobbly. And as you see, I do have it pressed up against Let's see if you can see down there. Pressed up against, so that way I give ample amount of breathing room to the back. It actually sounds a little quieter. I mean, the sound you're hearing, let's see. That's coming from the fan. So it's great because of the fact that I was able to change out the noise profile. Mainly, I think, because the graphics card is actually getting, you know, direct cooling into the heat, heat vents right there. So that's really good. And... As you guys saw in that picture, you know, I know the top glass shattered, but I was able to, you know, rectify the situation and, you know, move forward and just give me the excuse really to do stage two. So adding this red plank right here actually kind of gives it a little contrast to the desk. I really like that. I like the little black stripes, adds a little bit of depth to it. But I really like the build, I like where everything's going, you know, everything's hidden. It's minimalistic, but at the same time, it's, you know, elegant and I like that and it looks pretty neat. So if you guys got any comments about it, you know, definitely leave it down below. I'll put a description of everything I'm using in my build in the link down in the description. And hey, if you guys are just visiting, you have it, it's the first time you're at the channel, make sure you subscribe. Hope you liked it. Stay tuned for some great content coming up. I got some really big things coming. And as always, I'm Hyper for Tech. And until next time.